Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech Teenager, and today I'm going to be talking about Google Chrome. Um, Google actually demoed it today at their event, and from the looks of it, it took less than a minute to set up. All you have to do is go in and enter your Google account information. It actually wakes up from sleep almost instantly, and Google compared it to compared the wake-up time and how fast the user can move its hand. It supports multiple Google accounts, and it also has a guest mode in which you surf the web in incognito mode just like in Google Chrome. The OS is actually stored in read-only memory, so what that means is that you can't really jailbreak or install any apps yourself like uh, outside of the operating system. Google has to, um, you have to register with Google, become a developer, and then they allow you to do third-party stuff like that. So there's really nothing you can do to jailbreak it, and I'm not sure if that's going to change because it did, like, it, like I said, it is read-only memory. Uh, the OS itself is updated every couple weeks, and Eric Schmidt said that the goal is to make it faster, not slower. So pretty much it'll be like Snow Leopard, how it was to Mac OS X Leopard. And it just has a bunch of speed improvements, processing uh, tips and stuff like that. There, it speeds up the processes. Offline capability was demonstrated within the apps, and that was one thing I was unsure about was how that was going to work. Um, Google Docs was demonstrated offline, and the only requirement for an application to be run offline is that it has to be written in HTML5. Chrome OS also has a cloud print feature which lets you print to your home printer from anywhere around the world. So that's really cool and it'll probably be really useful for people who are out roaming around um, using their data. And all you have to do is print it and right when you get home it's there waiting for you. And like I just mentioned, data, Verizon Wireless is actually offering, or is actually in a partnership with Google offering data to the Chrome OS net netbooks. All you get is 100 megabytes monthly for 24 months. And if that's not enough for you, you can pay $9.99 and get an unlimited pass for one day. And actually, I'm going to jump over on my computer and show you the Chrome OS web store. So here we go. So hey guys, I'm on my computer. And now we're going to go and check out the Google Chrome OS web store. So you can do this yourself by just going to chrome.google.com slash web store. And if it, looks, if it looks familiar to you at all, uh, chances are you're an iPhone user. And it actually looks exactly like iTunes. And I'll go ahead and show you what I mean right here. You've got um, top paid and stuff all on the right, and it pretty much it's like a knockoff of iTunes. And right now, the only applications are available are mostly just uh, basic ones, nothing really um, too detailed or too extravagant. Looks like most of them are just kid games. And uh, I encourage you to go through and look here, look through this store yourself. There's going to be a link in the description along with just that web address. But um, I'm actually very shocked at the product that Google has actually brought to the market right here. I think the Chrome OS tablet is actually going to be a pretty good contender with that free Verizon data plan, even though it's not very much. It is definitely going to help it in sales. And um, uh, just like Android, I think Google's going to do a really good job supporting this operating system and uh, giving it new improvements and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any interesting comments, make sure to leave one below. Um, I look forward to reading the comments, and other people I'm sure do too. So that's it guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.